You're watching the Arsenal Vodcast. Arsenal scored two late goals in the Champions League on Tuesday night, but Thomas Vermaelen was just as impressed by a fourth consecutive clean sheet. Yeah, I'm very pleased with that. And uh, I think for, for us as defenders, it's the, the most important thing. Uh, the attackers have to, uh, the strikers have to score, and we have to defend. And if you keep the clean sheet, that's uh, for us is very important. Arsene Wenger will become Arsenal's longest-serving manager on Thursday. And Emmanuel Ibue has paid tribute to the man he describes as a father figure. You know, Arsene Wenger, you know, the boss, you know, I can't forget him because uh, he helped me a lot, helped me a lot, and then he continued to help me, and then he helped the, the team, and then the young players, you know, that's very, very important. And then uh, he, he did something, something good for, for the club, so we have to give him to me respect. You know. He's, he's like our dad, you know, he's like our dad in, in the team, you know, he's our dad because of every time when we go a little bit down, he always call, call us to, to try to speak with, with us, you know, that's very, very important for us. But me, I'm very, very happy to, to get him like, like my manager. Highbury was the home of football. Now Highbury Square is going to be the home for hundreds of new North London residents. The development was opened by Arsene Wenger last week and players old and new came back to see how it's changed. Harry, welcome back to Highbury. What are your emotions being back here? It's um, like one of being proud, to be honest. I was just saying to like, Bob Wilson and, and Kenny Sansom that there's not many other clubs in the world where you're going to build a new stadium and they're 100 yards apart. And obviously, at, back here at Highbury, you've got the East Stand facies still standing and you get a, a sense of the tradition and history. And being down in the Highbury Fair Gardens, it actually still feels like a football ground, but they've done it with a little bit of class and quality. It's, it's very, very impressive. What made Highbury such a special place? I just think um, when Ken Fry did, he's, uh, he speaks about the history and the tradition and realising what had gone on, you know, from uh, Herbert Chapman, obviously through to when I played for George Graham, and you see all the, the illustrious, illustrious names here, and it just hits you, and we, was, we went through the marble halls, and they're exactly the same, and uh, a couple of lads disappeared up the stairs. You only usually go up there if the chairman or the manager wants to see you've done something wrong. So, um, and you, you get a, a feeling of everything that's gone on here. And then we sat up, uh, obviously, on a balcony of one of the penthouse flats, and you're just looking over at the Emirates and the old football pitch. So it's pretty unique. David O'Leary, Kenny Sanson, welcome back to Highbury. What are your emotions coming back here today? It was funny, it was funny and it was sad, sad a little bit, but you know, very happy as well, and uh, very happy the way they've gone and uh, kept it really. You know, as Arsene Wenger said uh, in his speech, this could have been bulldozed, and you know, you wouldn't see that number now. But it was really, uh, it was amazing coming back in and walking down the tunnel. Uh, out on, and then when you get out onto the pitch, you this beautiful development. It's been done very tastefully there, but to be honest. Kenny, what made Highbury such a special place to play? I think it's one of the places that is, the atmosphere was fantastic, and obviously the thing I missed today is when we walked out of the tunnel, that uh, didn't get a cheer. Uh, there was no fans around. But, you know, I think the fans will appreciate what the club have done. It's unique. I don't think you'll ever see anything like this 
anywhere else, I, I think, in the world. Do you find Highbury was a, an intimidating place to come for opponents? Well, uh, just coming across here, speaking to Gary Clichy, and uh, you know, one thing he misses was this, everybody on top of you, you know, the real atmosphere, even though he's moved to a fantastic stadium, and as we look in the background, um, it was that particularly a night match. Uh, everybody, you know, the crowd on top of you, uh, made for an unbelievable atmosphere. And, uh, really unique place. Bob Wilson, Frank McClintock, thanks for joining us. Welcome back to Highbury. How strange is it to be here today? It's strange, but you know, it's still Highbury. Um, it's, it's quite emotional in a way, but you look at the, obviously you walk in the old Art Deco exterior and you go in the Marble Hall and nothing sort of changed. And in here, the, the general feel and shape is our old ground and Frank and I have just been commenting on that. And in a way, it's quite nice to be able to look straight over your shoulder at the Emirates, uh, which makes it, you know, uh, you know, I think the whole idea and the way they've done it is brilliant. And Frank, can you still envisage the players playing here, the, the, the sound of the crowd as well? You can actually, because um, when I was down there, you realise that's the North Bank just down there. And the Highbury Stadium was so close to the players and so close to the pitch, which gave it a great atmosphere. And uh, the Emirates Stadium is fantastic as well. But the atmosphere here was special. And even though it's houses surrounding everywhere now, you, you can still feel the atmosphere of the, of the old pitch. You can almost imagine, because there's grass lawns down there, you can almost imagine a game going on, you know? And uh, us booing everybody. <laughs> <laughs> George Graham, welcome back to Highbury. When you look down at that old pitch, the new gardens, you must fancy a bit of a kickabout. Yeah, it's fantastic, isn't it, what they've done. I mean, it's, uh, it's just great they've managed to uh, maintain the stadium. Uh, who would have liked to have seen uh, Highbury at anything other than a football pitch? No, no, all these wonderful flats. Yeah, it's very, very nice. Awesome Wenger described it as an Arsenal museum, having Herbert Chapman and Marble Halls to the east and west stands. How important was it to maintain those features? Well, it was important, but I mean, it had to be because I think they're listed buildings anyway, so I mean, there's no way they could knock them down. But uh, they had to re uh, retain the outside of the, the both the east and west stands. So, you know, doing what they've done was the ideal uh, scenario.